Hello and welcome back. This is part two of the Rise of the Tomb Raider playthrough. We are continuing exactly from where I left off in a previous part. So let's resume here. We're going to be exploring this like tomb or whatever. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. It looks like by reading murals we can increase our translation skills. That is a new feature in this game. Also, for anybody that is new um, to watching my videos or watching this playthrough, feel free to check out the previous playthrough as well. For the first game. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. It looks like our Greek is now at level 1. Which actually means we can translate the monolith. The secret entrance. Okay. Let me go read the monolith first and then we'll... Still no sign of her. I don't think she survived the crash. Alright, let's go. Constantine wants to breach the tomb before sundown. Okay. They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. There we go. Mm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the location. Okay, so we use tab to access our map now. Which I think it was the same before. So here's the map. We have some coin cash here and other treasure related things listed on a map. Pretty cool. We got our documents, relics, resources, our location that we're currently in, obviously our skill points and things like that. Definitely changes to the menu and the layout. Let's actually go ahead and open this secret path now. We see what's here first. We get this cash. Ancient coins, nice. Let's break this wall. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. Before I continue on, let me actually check. Looks like there's a hallway that went down the other side. Actually, I think it might be where I came from before. Yeah, okay. Yep. Wanted to confirm. Okay, so we can continue on this way. Not sure how soon we'll get into some action. Kind of hope that we get our bow again. I forgot to jump, but... Okay, so that's our objective over there. Let's see here. Oh shit. Oh, that's funny. The way that she got caught there. I was actually trying to jump up higher, but then she went to the left. I must have been holding the left gear just too far to the left when I went to jump. There's a helicopter. Oh no. They're already here. Got to get inside. That doesn't help a lot, does it? Definitely no turning back now. The Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet, and his people 
relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. A way through. Wonder what other areas we'll get to check out other than Syria, or if this game strictly stays in this region. Some scorpions. If I went into a cave and saw that many scorpions, my ass would be going back the other way. A lot of dead bodies in here. There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. Yeah. The Order of Trinity. Okay, so we can search small containers in this. My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. Nice. This. Okay, another mural. Prophet slain by the Order of Trinity. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn it. That was too close. I'm not gonna lie, using the gun right there felt a little bit better than it did in the first game. They're blasting their way in. I'll be honest, this area reminds me of like Dark Souls or something. If you change the character model to Dark Souls character and then told me that I was in Dark Souls, I'd probably believe you. Unless I like played the game previously, I know and I know all the locations. Then obviously I would be like no. But Yeah, let's see. Um can we jump up here? Or do we have to push this thing over to the other side somehow? I did see there's a ledge over there that you can hop up on. Oh, uh, maybe we can destroy this thing first. That makes sense. That's there we go. Works. Now let's get on top of this thing. Now we can jump up here. There we go. Cool. Like the introduction of those traps, Stunning. if it's also in like we the rest of the that. game, is both cool, but at the same time it's gonna get frustrating in some parts. So. Guess we need to go over there. 
looks like. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we do go in here. Honestly, it didn't seem like it was close enough to me to jump on it, but apparently it was. I assume this is the next spot we need to go to. Bike traps here too. Damn, they're almost inside. I assume those traps will be here throughout the game. Right now, they're kind of just giving us the introduction to them, so we know how to react to them in the future. Like there's one right there. I think that might be one of those swinging traps back there that we just jumped over. I think the game just quick saved. Which is nice up to have that. We need to get that water level high enough to be able to jump on that, right? Let me see, how do I get back up? Maybe up here, I guess. Let's stand on top of that platform for a little while. Let it fill up with water. And actually, let me shoot that thing down first. That might be beneficial for us. There we go. Accidentally skipped that. I don't think it would have been too anything too crazy, but here we are. Found you. Ready. Empty. empty. Interesting. It's empty. No! No! What did I miss? But the question is who got to it first. Hey, down here! I wonder if she's gonna hide inside of it because they're coming down. And these guys are armed. Set the charges! Tomb. After all the 
this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. Open it. Carefully. It could oh, be shit. extremely dangerous. Try to get captured probably if she's hiding there. Yep. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Getting to our first action here. Not bad, it feels nice. I like it. Bad we can't pick up their AKs. I'm pretty sure the guy who did the voice for that. Like main enemy dude that we just talked to is the same guy who did the voice for Raiden in the Mortal Kombat movies. And then he was in a few other movies. I forget which one the other movies were, but his voice definitely sounds familiar. Oh shit! Got to jump. I was so busy sprinting. See where it starts us from. Okay, that's not bad. Croft Manor. Jonah! Laura! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty. But I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... It would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. 
I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. We got an intruder. Laura. Holy shit. Oh shit, he took the book. So much for that. Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is then. I guess that Siberia scene, that beginning scene was actually the scene taking place. After this serious scene, it's like all mixed up. Okay, yeah, so this is like a flashback. Interesting stuff. I guess we're going back to the snowy place. I think I'm gonna end this part here guys. Let's save it. It's a good stopping point. Definitely wouldn't say that that jacket is good enough for Siberian weather, but hey. She's a surviving explorer. She must know better than I do, right? But anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.